A net worth statement is your personal financial scorecard. It's great for measuring how you're doing towards your financial goals. If you're on your way to fire financial independence, or if you're just trying to plan for retirement, a net worth statement is a great tool to assess how you're doing towards your statement. My name is Glenn. Thanks very much for selecting my video. I'm going to take you through a template that I put together for Google Sheets for a net worth statement. It's a running net worth statement tracker, which means that it takes a snapshot um, each month. The way it's set up is each month to give you an overall assessment of how your net worth is changing over time. You can adjust the timing so that if you don't want to do it every month, you can do it every six months or every year. Uh, but it'll produce a nice chart that demonstrates your net worth total and your assets and your liabilities. The template that I've made available is for Google Sheets. If you use it, uh, it'll get you up and running in no time at all. The download link is in the description down below. So without any other uh, comments, I'll get started here. We'll open up the uh, template. You'll see some instructions in the first tab. The first tab has some instructions. It's got a link to this YouTube video. Uh, it describes how you put information in on the input sheet. And then there's a net worth chart which will be produced. And there's a summary table that uh, summarizes the information you put on the input sheet. I'm going to switch over to the input sheet. So you start out at the top, and uh, you should the first thing you should do is uh, go to cell B1 here, right in this area here, and uh, put in whatever date you are going to start your tracking. The sheet is set up to update um, every month, and uh, it is currently set up for two years worth of monthly updates. If you wanted to change the time profile, just look at this formula here in uh, cell E1, you can see that it is the uh, date to the left and the cell to the left, and the month is incremented by plus one here. If you wanted to change that to every six months or every quarter, maybe every three months, you could change it to plus three. If you want it every year, plus 12, uh, you get the idea here. You can easily adjust the sheet. Okay, so the sheet is customizable here. The input sheet has different sections. The first main section is your assets. A net worth statement is essentially a listing of the value of all your assets uh, minus all your liabilities, and the bottom uh, sum is the net worth. So in January 2020, for example here, uh, I've made some categories for your asset classes. There's cash and cash equivalents. Those are things like your checking account, your savings account. If you have an emergency fund, it's your emergency fund. And what you would do is just key in these items, the value of each of those uh, accounts, and it will produce a sum here for cash and cash equivalents. In this case, $11,500. The next category are investments. Now this is, uh, I would define this as something that you can uh, obtain the money without any serious penalty and in, con in uh, contrast to the next category is retirement investments. So if you're in Canada, uh, you'll know what the RRSP, Registered Retirement Savings Plan, is. Um, in the U.S., if you're using the sheet, it would be uh, 401ks probably. Um, those, uh, that's the idea here. So if you're taking money out of your RRSP, uh, you are going to pay a penalty in uh, income tax. Uh, so these ones are really retirement investments. Another thing would be uh, BC pension. So if you work for an employer and uh, you, you or the employer are contributing to a defined contribution pension, that is an asset for retirement, uh, but it is uh, very difficult, if not impossible, to get that money out ahead of retirement. Just some other things like a uh, spousal RRSP or a LIRA, a locked-in retirement account. Let's say you had a a pension at a former employer and you left for whatever reason, you might have a locked-in retirement account. That is also an asset, uh, but it's for retirement and would be difficult to get access to that. So we're going from most liquid to least liquid here. Um, you know, perhaps with physical assets might be the exception to that rule. That's the next category. Physical assets, so things like your house. Uh, let's say you had a rental property. Um, you could put that in there. A vehicle boat, I don't know, whatever you might have as a physical asset. I would, uh, just for simplicity, I only put a 
physical asset in if it's got a value of five thousand dollars or more i mean it's up to you but uh and vehicles you know like i i do have a vehicle but uh you know it's not worth a ton of money and i always really am going to need the vehicle so i i just left it out for now but anyways you could certainly put that in there uh, i don't know maybe you have a really expensive coin collection let's say like you have that you could put that in there if that's something that you could sell if you need that okay so those are the asset categories if you uh let's say you wanted to rename you know you can rename any of these i put down like rrsp jack just as an example okay uh, if you're married you probably have your own personal rrsp account or 401k and your wife or your spouse might have uh, another one so i put in like rrsp jack rrsp2 jack uh, rrsp diane diane might have a spousal rrsp or vice versa, uh, DC pension one and two, Lira, what, whatever you can you can type in whatever makes sense to you in these uh, titles to help you organize your tracking. You can add or delete rows. So let's like insert a row here. You can add or delete rows within these categories, and uh, this this tracking spreadsheet will not will not get mixed up. So let's say uh, new R R R S P you would just add it like that and then start uh, start tracking that uh, just by entering the numbers what the chart does that uh, we'll see in a moment here the chart basically takes the summary of each of these categories and charts that in uh, summation form different categories okay let's move on down to liabilities liabilities are uh, well things you owe to other people so debt of any form uh, short-term uh, short-term liabilities and long-term liabilities are two main categories short-term liabilities uh, are things that you got to pay off quickly obviously like uh, credit cards you might want to pay off quickly line of credit and the only difference is long-term liabilities so I've added in uh, things as an example as mortgages so if you had a mortgage on your own home and uh, maybe a mortgage on your rental property if you had a big uh, I don't know if you have a car loan, something like that, you should put that in. And when you're keying in your mortgages, I would uh, I have set up the worksheet here so that it's a negative amount. Just type in a negative amount um, for your liabilities, credit cards or mortgages, line of credit. And as you pay that down, uh, your net worth will continue to climb. Just flip over here uh, to the net worth chart. So understand here we got the assets we got the liabilities assets minus the liabilities equals the net worth on the net worth chart so this is the chart that automatically populates when you fill in that table the green on top of the zero so the zero line here is the x-axis going roughly through the middle of the chart there's different shades of green to identify the different categories of assets the cash and cash equivalents is dark green. In the first bar here, it's about $11,000. The investments is a lighter shade of green, $156,000. Uh, retirement investments, $425,000. And physical assets, $650,000. Your liabilities down here, there's long-term and short-term. Short-term liabilities are the dark red. There's not too much... Uh, keyed into the data for short-term liabilities. So there's just a tiny red bar here. I can barely get my mouse on it, uh, $5,000. The key thing here is the blue line. The blue line is your net worth. And uh, it's basically all these assets on top of the bar, on top of the zero line here, minus the liabilities on the bottom, the negatives. And the net is 156,000 in January. And in this case here, it's just climbing up as you pay off your your debts and you accumulate assets one other tab on the chart here is the summary or one other tab in the file here is the summary table I recommend not uh, touching this table at all it just it's an intermediary so the chart is built off of the summary table data and the summary table is just the sums of each of those categories from the input sheet and what that does is it allows you to 
go to the input sheet here, you can add and delete lines in each of these categories. Uh, so that, okay, you might have a lot of investments, maybe you only have one or two investments, you can delete all this and these rows here that are extra and uh, make the chart a little bit uh, simpler. And the net worth chart will maintain its categories and not get mixed up. At first I was uh, trying to build a chart directly off of this table and every time I deleted or added a row, the categories in the the chart would uh, get mixed up. All right, so that's uh, that's about it in summary for the net worth tracking chart. So what I do is I update it each month. This is not real data, it's just uh, an example. And uh, You can download the template for free. Uh, it really only takes a few minutes. You know, I probably will make another video about uh, enhancing this, but I've, uh, on my own personal chart, I've added a column in here and I've put links to uh, get to these accounts easily. So basically, uh, checking account, there's a link to my bank, so I can click on that and uh, quickly update the chart. And I can go through this whole table in just a matter of uh, you know, 20 minutes or so each month to update it. And uh, as you track your progress, it is an encouragement to keep going and uh, really keeps you grounded on uh, how far you have to go before you're ready for financial independence or retirement and uh, really uh, keeps you on track. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you're interested in an Excel version, I can make an Excel version. I was thinking of doing that. Or if you want to see uh, any enhancements or have questions, you know, put a comment down below and uh, I will uh, do my best to get on there and see what I can do. Please uh, remember to like and subscribe the video. It helps uh, my channel. And uh, good luck with your investing. Thank you. Have a great day.